What is going on, my YouTube friends and all my Patreon friends? How are we all living today? Our friend in 15th Bend came and found me and asked me to react to. It looks like a really special video, y'all. It's called Bensters. What up to our Bensters? Instrumental and a visualizer. And your visualizers, bro, are, are always so dope. Like, I don't know what AI engines or whatever you're using, but like, they're so cool, man. So I'm going to have the link to this in the description box. I would appreciate, I would love so much if y'all went and gave this a stream, another stream, whatever the situation is. I've really, I've been really inspired by these indie artists lately, man. And like the waves of awesomeness that we've been able to produce. <laughs> And not just like on our channel, but like in the whole community, man, it's just been amazing. So I've got 15th Ben's link to this visualizer in the description box. Please go give it some love. Make sure you're subbed. Hit the notification bell. All that stuff that we do to support the indie artist, man. Let's watch this. I wasn't able to make a video this time, but the visualizer will get interesting as the song progresses. Okay, 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 I'm here for it. Come on, man. I, I gotta pause it. And I gotta break it up a little bit. The drum track sounds great. The like nice synth pads. They found they feel like angelic, and I might be that might be in my head because like the wings and everything. But it just feels so like big and epic with this guitar solo happening on top of it. Everything's so nice and clear, man. You're shredding a little here too. Come on, play for me. Play for me. <laughs> guitar tone. All right, y'all, I'm going to overanalyze this for a minute. The video fading or like being like totally unsaturated there, which is totally like black and white or grayscale or whatever. And it cutting out to just like the strings with the organ part. It's a really neat patch. It's a really interesting patch. Let's go back and listen to it. Because it's mostly like the low weight, but it's got this like gl glimpse of like high to it. And it just gave me this like light at the end of the tunnel kind of vibe. Or like a, a reminder that there's a light. You know what I mean? Like that's the vibe it was giving me. Let's listen to this for a sec. Not enough. Not enough.
it's even got that like reverby kind of cavey feel to it you know like i don't know man you did a good job with this one it was the saturation switch with just that total vibe switch back into the guitar and everything that was nice that was that touched my heart y'all with my internet today. drum track man you know i was just gonna talk i was just gonna talk about the clean guitar tone and how like now i can't remember if it's been clean the whole time but it's buttery man it's buttery and those bends have been nice and full of sustain and now we're gonna go crazy with the two Come on, man. Come on. I love that you can hear like the guitar noise in that riff and I love that you played it four times man because like it would, it, it would fit twice but like doubling it up like that man it was a great riff like you got to keep playing it right. Singing too? Cool. What note was that? What note was that at the end? Ah! Come on, man. Come on, man. Man, you like, yeah, you came with it. You came with it at the end of that. I inflected weird on that. Let me pull this away, y'all. Let me pull this away. That was a great, that was a good one. I was worried when I first started listening to instrumentals because I just started like here on the channel and I mixed one for my friend Fry and I just never understood instrumentals before. This is really cool, man. And even though it was like a slight visualizer, not, not so much a video, I still think it like told a bit of a story and it like flexing with the drum beat was like real cool too, man. Um, all right. Yes. Great track. Love the track. Let's talk about some guitar tone for a minute, man, because the tone was great and your playing is great. Your playing is really good. I actually think that it's, you've shown like quite the leap in what I've like been listening to. And I've only listened really to like what I've reacted to and the odd thing to make sure that I was going to like it before I jumped in. You know what I mean? <laughs> <coughs> but so what I would do is I would find one of the tricks out there to make like the low mid of the guitar a little beefier. There's a few things you can do with like an SSL strip and preamps or um, tight delays or reverb, sorry, and things. And like, you know, it's dealer's choice, but I want something to just give me like weight and like oomph and like a little room sound. It doesn't have to be like full on reverb, but just like a little bit of breathing to the guitar tone. I think that would take it a long way, man. And I can help you if you if you have questions on how to do that. I would love to help you. 
Um, but I thought it was a great track, man. I just want that like soaring the entire time. And I think that your playing deserves it, man. Like musicians are heartbeats, bro. You can feel it. You can feel your heartbeat in that. And I thought it was beautiful. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations to all the Bensters, myself included. I can have the link to this in the description box down below. Wow, I made this 10 minutes. Nice. Nice. Catch you on the next one.